Shero, thank you very much. Well, Serena walked out to loud applause. Everyone was waiting to see what outfit. She came through the tunnel and she's got the Wonder Woman boots on. The crowd clapped loudly, applauded her. And her opponent today, Patty Schneider, for the last time when they faced each other, got the victory. That was back in 2002. KP, you've made it over to join me. It should be an interesting tussle, the fact that Schneider did score that victory over Serena. Oh, yes. Just got to get my breath back here. I, I think so, and certainly Serena Williams will have a lot of respect for Patty Schneider, not just because of that, that last outing, but just because she knows how tricky this Swiss player can be. She's a lefty. She has a lot of movement on the ball with the top spin and also the slice. Yep. Yeah, she's got a lot of variation, Patty Schneider. That makes her a tough player, and she has played very well on this court before. She scored a victory over Steffi Graf a number of years ago when Steffi was still playing. And if the conditions are right, she gets off to a good start. Serena commits a few of those unforced errors, which has been uncharacteristic for her during this tournament so far. Then we could be in for a big-time match. Yes, in her match against Golovin, I mentioned something like 50 errors. It was actually 42 of Serena's racket in a 7-5-6-4 victory over Tatiana Golovin. And really, that's almost giving a set away. It is. It totally is. And it, as I said, uncharacteristic. I, I wonder, though, you know, heading into Wimbledon, she started off in those early rounds in, in great form. She was devastating. You know, going through, knifing it through some of the, the opponents, by the time she got to the quarterfinals, semifinals, that's where a game started to fall apart. The quarterfinals, she, the standard dropped a little bit, and of course, in that, she made it through to the final, and and the wheels fell off a, a little bit against Sharapova. This week, thing a little bit different. She's made all the unforced errors. She hasn't played her best tennis. I wonder whether she's plotting her way up to every match, getting a little bit better. Well, I certainly think she'd prefer, prefer it to be that way, where she builds over the course of the Grand Slam fortnight. And they're looking at the weather. Obviously, a lot more cloudy today and cooler conditions. 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, that's 20 degrees. What we're used to hearing back home. So pretty mild and pleasant. And certainly cool enough to be wearing the groovy jacket and the long boots for Serena. The Wonder Woman boots. <laughs> yeah, they're amazing, aren't they? They are. Serena lives at Palm Beach Gardens, born in Compton, California, but she and her sister now live in Florida. Uh, 31 wins and only five losses this year, but hasn't played an awful lot. Returned for that tournament in Miami after a, a long layoff, eight months, and actually won that event. Did very well. And then a quarterfinal, Amelia Island, lost to Conchita Martinez, and then a semi in Rome quarter-final at the French Open where she lost to Jennifer Capriati and then of course at Wimbledon you were talking about Mark where she lost to Maria Sharapova here's her opponent Patty Schneider 25 years of age and it feels like she's been around for a long time too that ranking there WTA Tour ranking entry into the event 16 she's been hovering around 15 20 for a number of years yes yeah, an interesting background Patty Schneider she's been at the top of the game back in 1998 and went through some difficult times which we'll talk about a little bit later but making her way back to the top you saw the career best record here in 1998 she made the quarterfinals that was the year that she defeated Steffi Graf along the way they played in a nighttime session had that uh, lefty serve working well out to the Graf backhand remember that match everyone was really hoping that Graf would make a, a strong impact on the tournament as she did most of the times at any Grand Slam event but was unable to do so. Sandra Dijenkin in the chair for this match. Yeah, Schneider certainly had the big wins and got through to the semi-final of the Australian Open earlier this year, which was a terrific result for her. And the win over Paula Suarez was the seed that she defeated to get there. And played some good tennis, losing to Kim Clijsters in the semi. What she does very well, as, as, as you pointed out, KP, the, the spin, the variation, height, angles. She's not a tall girl, obviously, when she stands next to Serena. She's a little bit taller than her, but she able to get the ball into positions with that lefty, the big forehand. And she said in her Matt Press conference, after she won her last round, 
coming up against Serena that she really hoped that she could get her forehand going into Serena's backhand. And funnily enough, she said that she felt Serena's backhand was weaker than Venus's. And so she really wanted to try and vary that forehand. So, uh, but she's not going to overpower it. She's not, you know, she's not going to win by, you know, spanking the ball around and, and Serena's not going to get to them. She's going to try and slice the backhand, a few short ones, then play a loopy forehand and obviously, put, you know, try and see if, if Serena can make a ton of force terrors, which she has so far. Yes, I think that is going to be the key. And so often it's the case with both of the Williams sisters. Uh, the match is on their racket, whether they come out and can keep the unforced errors down and make the big winners. Here we get a great look at the outfit. And every time this woman steps on the court, it's what is she wearing? Serena, the great fashion innovator. <laughs> Patty Schneider not too worried about all of that, though. Very experienced player, Schneider. Serena seemed a little bit touchy in her press conference from the other day as well when they were asking her about her injuries about her knee in particular she, she admits that she does come back to, or she came back too soon after the the, the last surgery which I, I think is a huge problem to that's going to cause further problems down the track but when the the, the press continually asked her and 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 she We've got the transcripts in front of us. I mean, there was just very brief answers. You, you know, no, the, the, le the knee is fine. Uh, is there any swelling? The knee is fine. Uh, can you tell us a little bit? Have you got any twinges, tweaks? I told you, I don't make excuses. The knee is fine. So very, very touchy subject for her. Yes, I think she prefers to keep the questions on the fashion and talk about her boots and her earrings and her love of accessorising putting the boots away. Pretty neat, isn't it, how they attach to the sneakers. Well, the ITF haven't approved those what, boots. I, I, I well, she mean, said she's allowed to wear them. She's allowed to wear them on the court, but she can't play a match. The ITF haven't, haven't approved that yet. So uh, uh, whether, whether Nike, her, her sponsor, have said, uh, well, obviously go in and, and push for them to be allowed, but uh, yeah, it's unreal that she's only allowed to wear them on the court, not in a match. Next year's US Open, perhaps. And the sound level drops as things get underway here. We had the music blaring, fans going pretty wild out there. I'm all excited to see Serena out there. 30 left. And now it's tennis time and two errors off the bat for Williams. Persisting with some of those hard hit backhands already in this game, but Schneider there, all uncomfortable. Just runs over to it, smooth, pushed game it all, and follows up with another ace. Fine start for her. Well, you couldn't get more of a confidence Brisbane. boost up. Schneider holding to love. And she has nothing to lose out there today against Serena Williams. She's going to feel quite comfortable and just think, okay, let's work away here and see what I can do. She's fully aware of, of what Serena's game is like. She's mentioned that she she's hoping Serena's maybe not at the top of the game because she feels like she could get overpowered totally. Thirty 
40 long. Wow. What a start on serve. Accurate. Hugging that centre line. Lob thrown up there by Patty Schneider. She had plenty of time, didn't she? She could have almost played the pass cross court. Serena sometimes gets very close, too close to the net when she comes into volley. Might see a few lobs today. And that's uncalled for there, that forehand. Such a rash shot. Great return by Petty Schneider. And being a lefty, if you get those types of serves thrown at you, you just see them up. Oh, Serena just upping the tempo there. It's 195 kilometres an hour, that 121 miles an hour. A quick serve. Good job Good. from Schneider making the return and again drawing the error from Williams. I just wonder what she was thinking there behind that shot. I mean, why not try and, you know, hit the ball deep, heavy, and then hold your position up at net there. She don't need to go for an outright winner. Hard advantage, Williams. She's relying on that serve at the moment. Four aces in the very first game. Just wrong footed a couple of times there, Patty Schneider, thinking that Serena's backhand would go cross court. She's going to get a good test with that knee today, I think. She's going to have to do a lot of moving, quick moving, Serena. Fifteen minutes. Well, Schneider definitely playing the backhand side of Williams, even at this early stage. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. 
Professor. Nicely placed serve there from Schneider. She's looking very relaxed out there. Ball two is better. She had a tough match against Handakova leading into this match here with Serena. That was close. So she was already she's already gone through that a match of full of nerves and excitement, which I think might help her coming into here, playing on the center court. Okay, Schneider. Schneider holds. He's on serve here. 2-1 Schneider. Patty Schneider, she's looked good in this match so far. And I think, Woody, what you were talking about with that match against Handikova really will stand her in good stead out here. She didn't play well in the match, Schneider, in terms of the way she was hitting the ball, but she was really pleased with the way she fought through it and subdued the nerves. Yep, she said she had showed good heart. Thought she could build upon the, the form, though. I mean, this is it's a big moment for her, stepping out here. She knows the crowd are going to be behind Serena, so that match with the hand of COVID is going to put her in good stead here. And she's looked comfortable in three games. Not overawed at all. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I think she knows what she has to do out there. And already she's seen that she can get some errors, some good free points from Serena if she can just keep to a strategy, not do too much wrong herself. 15 on. Yeah, and that's a, that's a good point that you made there, KP. As long as Patty doesn't do too much wrong herself, she can stick to that game plan. Allow Serena maybe to make commit those errors. She plays safe and sound herself. She's going to give it a good run. Fine line, though, isn't there, between being too safe. Yep. Patty's still got to go for her shots and have a definite game plan. <laughs> 15 is the first match. Serena very unhappy with her preparation for that shot. Schneider did well to get over. It wasn't the greatest of volleys. But again, Schneider looked like she could have gone down the line or even the cross court. She mishit it a little bit. But Schneider at the moment doing a good job of returning the serves and also then staying in the rally. She knows she's going to have to do a lot of running out there today. Just play for opportunities. And here's one right here. Good. <laughs> but as happens so often, Serena Williams just shutting the door on her opponent with a big serve. One break point saved.
Superb touch from Williams. And she holds serve to all. Two against them. But it was not a comfortable service game. Schneider still causing her some trouble. Nice mix. Power and some guile. Good change of pace. Serena might have bluffed Patty Schneider there on that point. She hit a first serve let, and Serena was four feet inside that baseline to return it. Even though it was a let, she got the double fault. Look where Serena played that backhand way outside the doubles court. And that's the advantage of a lefty. And he just whipped the ball out. Great angle by Patty Schneider. She had charge of the point there, Schneider. Sir. Schneider trying to mix it up. Good. Wasn't she bad a drop shot either, but great speed from Serena. See the height though, KP, that it went over the net. It's got to be a great shot against a great drop shot against Serena Williams. She's got good wheels. I love the way she prepares as she's running too. Very deliberate. Yep. That's just too good, isn't it? Put in a couple of excellent returns, Serena, right back on the baseline. Incredible depth. So some good play from Williams, bringing up her first break point opportunity. See how Schneider handles this. She handled that pretty well. That's an excellent dip. Huge. In reply to Serena. Hard about it, Serena. A beautifully placed serve by Patty Schneider. He's on serve here. Schneider, 3-2. Well, oh, Serena Williams really being pushed along here. It's a good battle so far. 
Katie Schneider. She was a top 10 player back in 1999. In fact, 1998 and 99, she was really on her way up. Young player, making her mark. Then she had all sorts of problems, linked up with a self-styled guru, Raina Harnaker, who was putting on some pretty weird diets there for a while, Woody. Diet of orange juice, I believe. Oh, and Schneider waiting for the call. It didn't come. Yes, some um, orange juice and all sorts of interesting medical practices. And she became estranged from her family and they were so concerned that they hired a private investigator to keep an eye on her for quite some time there. She ended up marrying him, Rainer Hoffman, in December last year. Those two years that you mentioned where she was a member of the top ten were also the two years that Martina Hingis was still playing. In connection with Hingis and Schneider, Fed Cup teammates in Switzerland. And I think Schneider benefited greatly from practice sessions that she had with Hingis, who at that stage was the best player in the world. It yes, certainly helped in Swiss women's tennis on a high then. And now Patty Schneider trying to get back up there. Had a good year this year. Now ranked number 16. Gang yeah. Williams. Yeah. What a pace there from Serena. Very convincing Very service game. see what would have happened, you know, if Patty Schneider hadn't had those deviations and problems as far as um, problems emotionally, being estranged from the family and, and linking up with perhaps the wrong person. Because she's really struggled there for a year or so after that to get back on track. And now she's far more mature, very happy being married and enjoys her life very much playing tennis. Well, an extreme green streak by Serena Williams as she comes in. But on this one, she's just playing a drop volley and it's like she's given every ounce of effort with the scream. It's emotion. She's got the passion out there. Oh, I don't know what it was, but she, I think she should save it when she's going for the big shot. Not no. the drop lolly. She is pumping herself up. And there she, she gets the double fault. I think it's all part of it. The charade. No, it's not a charade. It's the real deal. She's out there. She's almost part of the intimidation of the opponent. So now she has a break point. Serena really ignites her own passion with, with those screams and shrieks, the intensity. And she has done it. Williams securing the first break of this match. She leads 4-3. Well, Patty Schneider now with the task ahead to try and break back. And Serena just lifted the tempo a little in that last game. Got the shriek going. She laid the foundation in the previous service game. She had the break point at uh, two all. Didn't didn't break serve, but then made sure of it right there. Good aerial view there of the complex. Centre court, Arthur Ashe Stadium, and some fairly vocal USA fans out there already to cheer on this woman, Serena Williams, and 
other US players later on. I just hope that loss of serve, there's the, they're called the net heads, those of you who are interested back home. Yeah. <laughs> Our, or the American version of the Fanatics. With an exception being that they're actually paid by the USTA to attend this tournament. You'd need to be paid to wear a net on your head. As I was saying, I hope Schneider, though, isn't going to be too rattled by dropping her previous service game, but she realises that you know, she's, still, she's still there with Serena in this match. She's got to expect that there's going to be some service breaks. we are going to trade them back and forth. Well, I, don't, I don't think Serena expects that at all. And she's broken. She, she doesn't expect to be broken ever out there. Very confident in her own serve, being able to bring out the big one at will. Consolidates. Williams Please taking her out to a 5 3 lead in this opening set. KP, have a look at the amount of hair that's on Serena there on that ponytail. Is that a true hair, you think? 15 I thought Serena had shorter hair. It was a lot shorter at Wimbledon. <coughs> Extensions? Could be. Another fashion faux pas. Oh, uh, Serena's had hair extensions before, but I'm really not sure. I think that might all be hers. Great return. Well, as long as it's not flapping around into her face when she's hitting those huge forehands, that's the main thing. Has a great return there. Set up well, racket back early. Right through it. Yes, yeah, so that's something Williams does so well, that preparation. Very early preparation on all her shots. And usually with the footwork too. Gets herself in good position. Serena Williams Not could that get time. to that. No. Well done by Shida yes. coming in behind that forehand. Too much spin there. A bit of side spin. Comfortable, isn't she? And Schneider holds serve to stay in this first set. It's still Serena Williams leading. Five games to four. And looking down on the Arthur Ashe Stadium and the outside courts here at Flushing Meadows. Fine shots courtesy of the blimp that floats, motors overhead throughout the day and night. Much cooler conditions today here. It's still very pleasant. There's not a lot of wind about. It's dropped off a little from what it was earlier in the day. And Sir William stepping out here to serve for the opening set. And that's a nice start. That's the one thing that has looked in top form. That serve, that first serve, when it hit, finds the mark, ace number eight. 
Nine. All the aces on that second court, the backhand court, have been down the tee. Got her eye in. Can she go for number three? Pretty demoralizing for your opponent. Balls to dish up two aces straight up like that. Richard Williams on the left of screen. Set point for Serena. Set going to Serena Williams, the number three seed here. Six games to four. Watch herself on that big screen. That's something that a number of the players like to do. And um, she was certainly having a close look at what's on that screen. And a good set to get under her belt because Patty Schneider started very well and really to serve making the difference, I think, with Serena Williams able to belt out all of those aces. Well, she was still committing some of the unforced errors off the backhand wing. Made up for it, though, oh, with the oh. big serve. She does have a look at that jumbo screen up above centre court. And it does give out some stats occasionally. And that's where she mentioned from previous match that she knew her backhand was failing her, so failing a little bit. Tried to tighten that up. Maybe needs to spend a bit more time on the practice court, just trying to you know, groove that shot a little bit more. Fine tuning if she gets through this match. Hello, Fletcher. Is where Schneider has to fire up. She's got to lift here. Preparation there on the volley. Did her in. I think sometimes the, the girls, when they when they do approach the net, what I've seen in the last year and a half is they don't really expect to play another volley. Oh, that's wild. that is just what Patty Schneider did not need. A very lackluster opening game in the second set. And the break for Serena Williams. And that's a shame because Shanita just seemed a little bit deflated there when she came out when she really needed to start that second set very positively because really in the first set she was right with Williams for a lot of the way. She was. Outgunned though on the serve. Nine aces for the lone ace by Patty Schneider. Winner rate, 16 to Schneider's five. Pretty much the same on unforced errors. I thought Serena might have actually committed a few more than the ten. Started off with quite a few, but then I think really brought a game together well 
in the latter stages of that opening set. Lopretude. Let's look at the service direction from Serena Williams. See all those aces, the red dots, where those aces, the first serve, right down the middle of the court. 15 all. None of them going wide. So she's attacking the Schneider forehand on the first court. And she's going to the Schneider backhand on the second court. Oh, William's really getting in the groove here. 13 to 15. Maybe this is the match where she's showing the other girls that are left in the field. Serena is back. I'm a contender. Absolutely. You know, in the, the men's field, the four favourites have all shown their goods in the tournament so far. So Lindsay Davenport on the women's side, she's in great form. One maybe that hasn't shown some form is Venus. Got through a match last night with Chanda Rubin, but looked shaky. I caught, caught a few uh, a few games of that match. She got better as that match went on, though. And Chanda put up a very spirited charge against her. Game Williams. Oh, good service game there from Serena Williams. She'll be pretty happy to be away. So there's two oh, lovelies please. in the second against the lovelies. Yes, well, it's fourth, the fourth round now, so you want to be building the form. Long. And the winner of this match plays the winner of the Capriati Sugiyama match. And certainly, a Serena Williams Jennifer Capriati quarter final would be a, a much anticipated clash here. Those two have a healthy rivalry going. There's Venus talking here. We'll chat in the stands. Schneider holding serve, putting herself on the board in this second set. Williams leading two games to one. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Just a little look there at some of Serena's other outfits. The hot pants, that last one. And then Serena, a fashion innovator, crossover celebrity she calls herself, actor, fashion designer. And she plays some good tennis. One last score for Williams. I always talk about you know, whether Serena gives enough energy to the tennis. I'm of the mind that she does, but gets criticism for other interests at times, with the acting and going out to parties, fashion launches, those sorts of things. I don't think you can doubt that she gives 100% when she's at a tennis tournament. Commitment at tournaments is not in question, but I 
I've certainly read a lot about people saying, does she care enough? Does the fire burn strongly enough within her to win again that above all else? I think it is a, I believe it is a bit of a distraction if you're doing too much off court. It takes a lot of energy. You know, her and her sister, they're in the design. One's doing, you know, interior design. The other one's doing clothing. She's going out with a, a movie producer or a director. She's done a TV series. You know, she's an athlete first, and I think, you know, she's going to have a lot of time for all of that other stuff. No one's ever going to forget Serena, but it also, another flip of the coin at this point. Is that, it's something, well, she can split while she's off the court, and it might help for her longevity for her career as well. Now, I, I don't like seeing athletes burn out when they're, you know, mid-20s, I believe tennis player should be having a career into their early 30s so you know some of this other stuff might help her play a little bit longer Four, two, well as you well know and every tennis player knows there's a lot of downtime on the tour too where your brain isn't really um, engaged in too much so she says that it's great to go back and read scripts and have some fun doing a bit of fashion design it keeps her stimulated her mind busy Certainly her parents have always encouraged both she and Venus to develop other interests. there from Williams not going for too much too soon. Waiting on to take that lead out to 3-1. Good to see Venus here watching it. They really do support each other so well. They do. Often get a glimpse of both sisters watching each other. Sitting in that first row was Dad Richard. on the attack and that's maybe something she can do a little bit more of so that's what she's got to try and do to to perhaps work her way back into this into this match try and unsettle serena a little bit This would be a better drop volley. See where she's still in the air, really, when she made contact with that ball. That's just set up so nicely for a lefty's forehand. Different three points by Patty Schneider. Serve. Game. Now Patty Schneider holds serve to love. Looking good in that game. Still Williams leading 3-2. Brilliant. Erotic coming up next on Arthur Ashe Stadium. And another reason that the Netheads are here. The USA fan group that are here cheering on Serena Williams. And also awaiting Andy Roddick. You can hear them now saying, go Serena, go. Certainly she's been going well on serve. Needs to keep that up here though, because that last service game from Patty Schneider just showed a little bit of extra spark. Too 
There's Venus having a bit of a joke with Serena's boyfriend, Brett Ratner, I believe his name is. Ooh. She prepared for that one, the wind. Moved that around, as did the backspin. Look at it. Whoa, whoa, hello. Well, that one looked like it bounced very strangely. Strong second serve. She couldn't do too much with it. Gay Williams. And a bit of extra speed on that last one. 90 kilometres an hour. Williams, 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 Williams away to a 4 2 lead. A bit breezy down there. So some strange movement on the ball in that last game. had that point she started it well again she made the first volley if your opponent's going to get to it you've got to be prepared to play a second volley Low, that's deep trouble now setting a break love 30 down Possible double break. The curtains are close to being drawn on Patty Schneider's US Open 2004. And well, we thought that in the previous round as well when she was playing Daniela Handukova. She saved three match points to get through that one. 7-6 in the third set. It'll be a bit tougher to come back here. Fifteen. Did Handikova shed some tears at the end of that match? Yeah, she was devastated because she'd had the opportunities to close it out. And there is the double break. Serena Williams with a set in hand. Leading 5-2, she will come out to serve for the match. All news is fans. All. Cloudy skies in New York today. The Unisphere with the fountains in front. And it's quite breezy. You can see even the water being blown. And the wind that sprung up. And Patty Schneider in all sorts of trouble here hasn't been able to hold off the might of Serena Williams. Well, the music blaring on the change over there, bad to the bone, big Serena. It's all for Serena, That's isn't it? That's it. She'd love it at this stage, so would Richard Williams sitting there. Serena serving for the match. And a place in the quarterfinals.
Still not so smooth when she's crunching that backhand. It's almost like in an effort to get it there, to, to hit the winner too soon, to win the point too quickly. Favourite serve today down the tee. 15 all. First one missed, but still won the point. Didn't get set for that forehand, Paddy Schneider. Just got to get that left foot planted. Get the weight back on it and move through with your hips. Four, two, was when she made that volley down as well to quickly rush through it. Just Have you been anxious? So fast, yeah. Just trust yourself. Trust the shot. She's trusting the serve today. That's the. It's been a real bright point. Well, certainly not misplaced trust. It's been a huge weapon for her today. Match point number three for Serena Williams. with an ace appropriately through in just under an hour 6462 it's all part of the show acknowledging her fans such a troublesome player. She sure can. You know, Patty Schneid, I, I felt like after losing that first set, she sort of just checked out of the match and was happy to take her 70,000 bucks for reaching the fourth round, go home. Yeah, she really seemed deflated at the start of that second set when she nearly, she really needed to fight. And here's a look at this part of the draw and Serena, the first there through to the quarterfinals. And she'll play the winner of Jennifer Capriati and Ai Sugiyama. 
also in this part of the draw, the two Russians, Dementieva and Zonareva, and the number two seed, Amelie Moresmo. So, Serena Williams, through comfortably, will be back with more from the US Open in just a moment.